The federal government is capturing wild horses in Nevada, and some of them are dying. Congresswoman Dina Titus now reacting to video the 8 News Now investigators first brought you last night, stating in part, this latest instance of BLM mistreatment of Nevada's wild horses is tragic. Now, Titus introduced legislation which would ban the use of helicopters during roundups. She says it needs to pass now. Well, today, the head of a group demanding an end to two current operations in Nevada speaks with investigator Vanessa Murphy. Now, we do want to warn you, some of the video in the story is graphic. A wild horse escapes from a pen. There was a mistake made at the pen with that wrangler who comes up and that horse comes out. You can see the injured leg. So the people out there aren't interested in humane handling of these horses first. It's expediency of the operation. A man on horseback and a helicopter chase the horse. For over 30 minutes, he was pursued. When the wrangler gets the animal out of sight from onlookers, Laura Lee says the horse is shot and killed. To run him with chopper and ropers, wranglers, was intentional and it was inhumane. She heads Wild Horse Education, which is demanding two operations like this happening now in northeastern Nevada stop or are at least suspended. But her group is up against the federal government. The Bureau of Land Management insists on capturing wild horses, claiming the land doesn't have enough resources to sustain them. But this is a complex issue with varying opinions. The BLM's goal now is to capture more than 3,100 horses in the July heat. This started Sunday. By Friday morning, the BLM reported six horses died with the roundups far from over. Lee says this baby is one of them, found dead the day after capture. But if you're going to remove them, remove them in the fall and do it humanely. And for Lee? Um, I've known him since 2015. What happened to this horse in particular is personal. She provided this photo from when the wild horse was free. To watch that video was pretty hard. Um, you know, I'm having a rough time today. Vanessa Murphy. It was like losing a friend. 8 News Now. It's tough to watch. Uh, Vanessa did reach out to the BLM. A spokesperson replied in part. The temperature and other factors are constantly monitored and reviewed throughout the day to ensure animal safety. If temperatures exceed what is healthy and safe for the animals, the BLM will pause gather operations. In addition, veterinarians are on site. You can find the full reply at 8newsnow.com.